How many here are pastors? Pastors, I want you to lift your hands. Pastor, All right, God bless you. Now, Matthew chapter 16. Matthew, Matthew took far in and verse 18. See, and in far, Valon being full. It says, And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Amen. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So the main work of a church and of a pastor, a man of God, is to build the church. Amen. Amen. God wants us to build the church in Madagascar. And if you don't build the church, other religions will take over Madagascar. Amen. And usually it is a failure of the church that leads to other beliefs. In Europe today, the failure of the church has led to other beliefs taking over. The belief that there is no God. And the belief in human beings. As being uh, God. Like a human being is God. And in Madagascar. Other things will come into the country. And take over the whole population. Gradually. Because the church is not being built. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our fathers who have built churches in the whole world. The Catholics, the Presbyterians, the Methodists, um, Anglicans, Anglican, and all these great churches, they have done great works. And just about 500 years ago, every Christian was a Catholic. There was only one church. But now there are many churches. So we always thank God for what they have all done. Any country you go to, you can see the temples, the cathedrals that have been built by Catholics, Methodists, 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 Presbyterian, the Assembly of God. All built churches. This current generation must also do something. Amen. Amen. This current generation it, uh, de, uh, de generation T must rise up and build the church. Amen. 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 And we must see churches that have been built by the people of 
that generation. Amen. Amen. This generation iti, of Christians iti is responsible for this generation of souls. If the work of God is going on well in Madagascar, you will see many, many more churches from north to south, east to west, being built by young pastors. And young churches. Amen. Amen. Why? Naona. This is the only work of the church. Jesus said, Jesus. I will build my church. I will do what? I will build my church. Everybody say, I will build my church. I will build my church. I will build my church. So Jesus has one project. Building the church. And if you are here and you, you are a pastor, you must have one mind to build the church. Where, where, where is the book here? Let me see the. Amen. Amen. And that is why I wrote this book. I, the mega church. mega church na This one is what? This one. No, no. This mega church. Mega church. It's about building the church. And this one is about church growth. And this one is about church planting. Amen. Amen. And I think that I have something to share with you about that. Because in my life and my ministry, I have built many churches. Even in Madagascar, I've built churches here. And we are still building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, I believe there is something you can learn by reading this book. I will build my church. Amen. Amen. And now Jesus says, He's going to give you keys of the kingdom if you want to build his church. It's only church builders who need keys on how to build. Amen. Amen. That is why as soon as he said, I will build my church, he said, I will give you keys. And one of the keys to building the kingdom is the key of loyalty and faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he said, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. There are things that have to be bound or stopped. If you are going to build the church, I'm going to say it again. If you want to build the church, you have to bind certain things. Because the devil is not going to allow you to build. Many pastors are troubled. They are troubled by so many things that are preventing them from building the church. In their personal lives, pastors are troubled. 
Because the devil doesn't want them to feel free. A lot of pastors have internal problems to distract them from building the church. So their mind cannot be on the church. They have financial problems so that they cannot think about being a pastor. Today, many pastors are businessmen and many pastors work in the secular world as well as working in the church. And they cannot concentrate. Many pastors have marital problems. Most pastors have marital problems. Few pastors have good marriages. Oh yes. They, they will not tell you. But many pastors don't have good marriages. And it affects the ministry. Yes. And many pastors don't have good assistants. And it affects them. Without a good assistant, you cannot build the church. Yeah, you always have problems. Because your assistant is always challenging you. Directly or indirectly. Making you look foolish. And making you not look not so wise. Do you have such things in Madagascar? You seem you don't really understand what I'm saying. Maybe I should go and preach in Mauritius. Maybe they will understand it better over there. So, today, God wants to give everybody here a key. Amen. Amen. It's a key to the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And then also the ability to stop or bind things. Stop the devil from destroying the church you are building. Amen. Amen. Now. Um, God in his word will use the word of God to bind and restrict the enemy. And through that word you will restrict the enemy. Now the Bible says that the entrance of his word brings light. So light will restrict the enemy. Amen. Amen. Everybody say light. Light. Now the word brings light. And this light will restrict the enemy. And the enemy will not be able to maneuver in your 
life and ministry. Amen. Amen. So, I want to share with you on loyalty. It is one of the keys to church building. Amen. Amen. Now, yes, this set of books, based on the Bible, will be a source of light. Amen. Amen. Everybody say light. Amen. Light. Fazavan. And the light will restrict the enemy. How many want the devil to stop roaming freely? No, even if he is there, even if the devil is there, he shouldn't feel free. He shouldn't feel free to just come. Amen. Amen. Some years ago, I was um, in my school and I went, I came into my hostel. Um, into my room. And um, when I did, I When I came into my room, there were rats. Do you have rats in Tuamasina? Miss Falav ve Tomasin. Huh? Miss eh? You have them? Miss oh. son. No, I thought I was talking to the wrong people. <laughs> but some 119 verse 130. Says, the entrance of thy word giveth light. Amen. The Amen. entrance of thy word giveth light. Now one day I entered my room and before I put on the light, I felt something was moving. And I, I was not sure what was moving. Are we okay? Yes. When I put on the light, I saw rats running there were about four big ones they were running and they ran up and went through the ceiling and I saw where they went now this was the only room I had I have to sleep there but at least, Never. once I put on the light, they, they ran away. So I was able to lie on my bed and and sleep peacefully. With the light on. Because the light make the rats run away. So, the light will make the devil run away from your life. And from your church. And your ministry. Amen. Amen. That is why I am teaching about these things. You see, let us start with 
Why is loyalty important? Amen. Amen. Why is loyalty important? Number one, it is important because it is the main qualification for a pastor. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. Corinthians volume to Faru. It says it is required that in stewards that a man should be loyal or faithful. Amen. Amen. Number two, loyalty is important so that the love of God can fill the church. Amen. Amen. Why is that important? Because faith works by love. Without love, your faith doesn't work. And the ministry doesn't work. Without love. Amen. Amen. That is number two. The third reason why loyalty is important. Okay, that's the second reason. The, the Yeah, the, the third reason is to fight what we call the fifth column. The internal enemy. Yes, yeah. the internal enemy. Amen. Amen. Now, in 1 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 16, and verse 9. And The Bible says that a great door is opened. But there are many adversaries. A great door. Everybody say a great door. Now there is a great door in Madagascar. A great door into Amasina. For ministry. For ministry. In some countries, there is no great door. There's nothing. You can't work. Should I mention some countries where even a crusade is not allowed? There is no great door. In some countries, they don't allow missionaries. I can mention some countries in Africa we have not been able to send missionaries. In a country, for instance, like Zimbabwe, because of their laws, we have not been able to send missionaries that we want to send there. All these years, they have laws that prevent from coming there. So, Today, as I speak, there is a door in Madagascar. A great door for churches to be built and the work of God to go on. But there are many adversaries. Many enemies. So you need to fight the enemy if you want to build the church. Are you ready to fight the enemy? No, I, are you ready to... When I, when I ask a question, I want you to ask them also so that you respond. Amen. Amen. So reason number four 
you must have loyalty have a successful ministry amen amen to have a, la- a large successful ministry team you need loyalty and faithfulness amen amen if you don't have If you don't have faithfulness, if you don't have faithfulness, you cannot have a team because somebody will be holding a knife always to stab you in the back. Amen. Now, number five, you must have Loyalty so that you can have a large church, a mega church. Amen. Amen. How many want to have a big church? Yes. And number six, to have a long lasting ministry. You can have a long lasting ministry with um, loyalty. And finally, you can have a, a good ministry with a good reward. Because Jesus will say, well done, good and faithful servants. Amen. Amen. So these are the reasons why you must have um, loyalty and faithfulness. Amen. Amen. So now that I've given you the list, I want us to go through the list carefully. Right. What is number one? What is number one? What is number one? To have what? Faithfulness. Faithfulness is the qualification of a pastor. He's an effort kid and ufama fama rita na sarandinda one pastor. Amen. Amen. Faithfulness. Fatkisan. Very important. Tina Zafa de B. Some pastors are good at singing. That's not what we need. Some pastors are good at even preaching. That's what, not what we need. Some pastors are good at taking offerings. That's not what we need. We need faithfulness. Faithfulness. Loyalty. Someone who it will be constant. Constant. Stable. Amen. Amen. Faithful. When I went to Korea, Korea, Yongicho. Have you heard of Yongicho? It's the biggest church in the world. When I went there, and we asked the church members, how long have you been in the church? This one said 47 years. 47 years. I've been in this church. We ask somebody, how long have you been in the church? 38 years. We ask somebody, how long have you been in the church? 42 years. How long have you been in the church? 39 years. I realize that all the members have been there for a long time. Stable. Faithful, Matuki, constant, Maraka, members. See you for over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody who is new in the church. Missula for four, not in Fingunan. 
has not been there for a long time. Mbula sia ile kuri na tunga vantau. 18 years. Fano bin full ton. 18 years is a new, new member. Pin for four fallo bin full ton. He is a new member. He is the pin for four fallo bin full ton. That's why he has only been there for 18 years. Say fallo bin full ton is in fatau. So God showed me this is a key. Dey na se una demand to tam ke say dey fallo lai. To have a big church, you need people to be stable for a long time. Amen. Amen. Now, I know some pastors, friend, friends of mine, they have churches. Hallelujah. Now, tune this mic, please. It's not clear. Now, I know some pastors who are my friends. Every time I see them, who, th those who have big churches, their assistants are the same people. For many years, their assistants have been the assistant for many years. They are not new people. So if your church is going to be a large church, you need faithful Pastors the Mila Pastor Matuki and assistants are Panamp Matuki, not people who are holding daggers in their hands. Fatsi Pims Wulla say Ntana Ansin and Tanan to pierce you behind your back. And they are not Sukanawati and the Musnow. Do you have such things in Tuamasin? Missula Taxan Vietia Tomasin. Hey, you cannot build a big church with people with knives. So. Yes. Yeah. What is the second reason why you uh, uh, must uh, have loyalty? I gave you seven reasons. What is the second reason? In love. What did they say? Love. The, the love of God. Love of God. The love of God, is that your second reason? So the love of God will be lived in the church. The church. Yeah. Yes. The love of God. Yeah. Now, faith works by love. Yes. Without love, you, you Bible says you are nothing. You are nothing. God is love. And the So love must be in the church. The Bible says, if I have not love, I am nothing. It profited me nothing. It is useless. Ministry does not work. Without love. Amen. Amen. So pastors who criticize other pastors and attack and do what they wouldn't do to themselves. They are not walking in love. And their ministry will never work. I have never seen a church or a ministry that works without love. Never. Without forgiveness. Love forgives. Love is patient. Love is kind. Without love. Faith does not work. And the church does not work. So loyalty and stability is necessary 
because it is a sign that there is love when marriages break up it is a sign that there is no more love that is why we say I don't love you anymore so I don't want to marry you anymore and when pastors don't love their senior pastor anymore they say I don't want to stay with you anymore I don't like you anymore bye bye De rale pastora panapnu tsitiani pastora mtarkenaza de tramteni je tsitiano tsunia dikanza de tsite yarakam no tsunia sarakam no wa samyala Amen Amen Are you listening to me Me no ve na reu Do you understand what I'm preaching As no ve zavatra turikom no wet Well I hope you understand Manatena for was no sa Number three. What is the third reason why we must have loyalty? Fighting the enemy internal, the internal in me. Fighting the internal in me. Fighting the internal enemy. Now, the real enemy is not outside. It's inside. You can ask any pastor who has been a pastor for some years. What has been the greatest trouble for you as a pastor? It is those inside. Those who sit on the front row. Those who sit on the front row. Those who sit on the second row. Those who are important. In the church. They are the biggest problem. More than the devil. They are more trouble than the devil himself. So every pastor must know how to control all those things. Otherwise your church will never grow. No. You keep on building. When you put 100 blocks in the night Somebody will come and take 60. De refa amnyala de misasan maka in pulum le brick na tanga now. The next day you build 150 blocks. De amte amnyata manara kanre no mano di pulum sat. Someone will come and take 70 blocks. De misula na tunga maka fit pulum zai. That is why a pastor can be a pastor of a church for years and his church will be small. Because he keeps on adding and people keep on taking away. And because his members are mobile, they are not stable. The members are mobile. They move. They don't stay in the same place. The assistant pastors don't stay. They are always looking for a chance to move and do their own thing and to announce to the world I am a man of God. Hey, hey. So God wants to introduce stability. Faithfulness. Loyalty. In the church. And Madagascar will have many big churches. Stable churches. Amen. Amen. Do you want to have many churches? It is important. That you learn this. Because as the church is not growing, other things are taking over. Because all human beings need 
a religion. Satia nula reta reta mila fifa fa. They need God. Mila fa fa fifeza. And they will find it. Araitan sanis. If they can't find it with you. Ari aitan san om naru. If they can't find it in Jesus. Fa om Jesus no asa unias. Find somebody else. Fa chenem nulka fa kuri. What is the next reason why we, we, loyalty is important? Success in ministry. Successful ministry. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that you, you are not made perfect without me. The Bible says that you are not made perfect without me. And I need you. Amen. Amen. So you need people. You know that You need people. now. You see, I have come to Madagascar. To have a campaign. so campaign so. But I, I did not come alone. I did not work alone. Yes. Because I don't work alone. No one works alone. Even if you work alone, then it means you are just doing a percentage of your work. Yes. Yeah. I have to have a team of people to do anything. Anything at all. To build a church, you need a team. To do a crusade, you need a team. From here, I am going to Rwanda. For a crusade. As soon as I finish here, but there are some people there who are preparing the campaign. Because I am not alone. And from there, I am going to another country. And there are also some people there. At the same time, so to have a large team and a successful ministry, you need to have you need to have loyalty. The people that have been with you and will stay with you. The people that have helped me in the church since. I started in 1992. In the ministry. Is it 92 I started? Or 1988? Uh, 1987. Are the same people. Are that are with me since I started my church who are helping me with the church there's the same people they are my assistants up till today since I started the crusade the same people who are helping me when I had my first crusade Almost 20 years ago. It's the same people that are helping me to do the crusade today. Yes. Yeah. So you have to have a team of stable people that stay with you. So many pastors do not have somebody who will stay with them. That is why nothing can grow. Yes. Yeah. And so God wants to give us stability. And for us to know how we need to be together. Without having your own ministry per se. But part of another ministry. Have you heard of Mount Everest? Have you heard of Mount Everest? The highest mountain in the world. Now it is not allowed try to climb this mountain without oxygen. Because there's no oxygen up there. And 
many people who climb mountains. It is their dream. To go there. To climb it. And it is very dangerous. Now, I want to just tell you one thing. Do you know how many people? How many people is needed to help one person to climb up to the top? You need 150 people to help one person climb to the top of Mount Everest. They will be carrying oxygen, food, food tents, tent, many things just to help one man to, to climb. And they, they keep reducing until the end and the mountain climber goes alone to the top. But you need so many people to make it possible for one person to get to the top. So in your ministry, you need so many people to help only you to get to the high level that God has called you for. But if all these 150 people are not with you, you will not be able to go there because they have to carry the food and the tent and the oxygen and the supplies and many things to, to help you. They are called shepherds. Yes. Those who help the one man to climb to the top. So, I see you climbing to the top. Amen. Amen. I said, I see you climbing to the top. In the ministry. But you need a number of people to help you to go all the way up there. And that is why you have to teach people to be faithful to stay faithful for many years you have to take pride in being able to say how long people have been with you yes that is an achievement. It is an achievement. That is why people celebrate their marriages. And they say this is 10 years anniversary. I've been married for 15 years. Married for 20 years. They say wow. 20 years. 15 years. 30 years. In this same marriage. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 40 years. 50 years. Because it is an achievement. For any two human beings to stay together for a long time. It is an achievement. Because there is a lot of pressure to separate. Yes, there is yeah. a lot of pressure to separate. Both in marriage and in ministry and in the church. There is pressure to separate. I think I'm talking to the wrong people. I don't know whether I'm talking to the right people. You don't understand my message. All right. What is the next reason for loyalty? Huh? Key for success ministry. Successful ministry. And what, what is the next one after that? The key. The list. The key for successful ministry. Yes. Yeah. 
And the next one is to have a mega church. Amen. 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 Now, how does this loyalty develop? You have to teach it so that you can see it and diagnose it. Number one, an independent spirit. A spiritual independent. Amen. Amen. Now, God has not made us to be independent. Nobody is independent in the church. Amen. Amen. In Psalm 95, the Bible says we are the sheep of his pasture. We are just his sheep. And a sheep is dependent. It depends on the owner. Amen. Amen. So nobody is independent. Now, when independence comes, before its time, you have many evil things. You have death. And you have um, what we call uh, emergencies. We see, uh, uh, because the... when a child is separated from the mother's womb before nine months, you have emergencies. We see uh, urgence mande ozania alua natura atera nzaza miala vamki bunren. Amen. Mm-hmm. And people who go away from their where they belong. You have a crisis. Spiritual crisis. There are pastors who have started their own churches. And the only thing they have is a crisis. Only trouble. Financial difficulties. And spiritual crisis. Because they separated from their mother's womb when they should not be separate. And if you separate when you should not be separate you can die and move into a crisis. And you have to be on oxygen to survive. Today there are many pastors and churches on oxygen. On spiritual oxygen. Do you have oxygen pastors here? There are no members in the church. There's no money. They don't have any building. They cannot grow. They cannot develop. Hey. Hey. There is something wrong. A church is supposed to grow. A church is supposed to be built. So when there is something wrong. An independent spirit. It does not work. Look at what you are calling a church. It's a shame. That you even call it a church. Yes. There is something wrong. With how you started. Yes. Yeah. No matter how long you continue going in the wrong direction, it will never become the right direction. No matter how long. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Amen. Amen. I remember one of my pastors, he decided to do chicken farming. 
na tadidi ni pastor na kraine rakata kwa we ano fiupina aku no fiupina aku so he bought day old chicks de nvidi a zana kaku marus chicks baby ones zana kaku for his farm one lay farm farm because he wanted to do business sati stia no business and he started feeding them then anum kana ma anandrewis every day he sanand he went to buy food he mandes mandem fit saka to the chicks they are men and they were cool hey hey they were eating ni nandreo when it comes in the evening they have eaten everything forever tunga and saka to the land the whole then he gave them water they men and round ray to drink he stun they drank all they stun the whole sand then he bought he brought a vet dia eh a vet a, a doctor of chicken to tunra um veterinera one me a quiz oh to give them medicine nan me nas fana food they took they ate all the medicine then one the whole fana food then he gave them more food then amen saka fete pe after one month afaka rai vulan they were small like this bula kelo tani fona le aku yes yeah he continued to feed them bula fana nyan le aku they every day he brought sacks and they ate all de isanandu zum tunda sakafu an leku de lan leku ta wol give them water men ran they drank it again de stunda isan he brought the doctor de nwetin kule veteriner medicine de na mena fana food or one the whole zan fana food after two months a faka ruvulen they were like this small like bula otani nyan leku why na wona why na wona there was something wrong with those chicks me sabat that smete wa mrewa kureu the 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 genetics the genes there's something wrong with them le genetic le akumi tin mistimet no matter how you feed it it is na karakor na karakor ni mahana na wanas bula kele anis yes when you start a church ramanup ka fenguna ni now there is something wrong with it e fa itano mi sabat that smete tsara no matter how you feed it Say what it's money na say fumba mana no was and give water and then me say no was run and pour medicine arman me fana food yes you will never grow never spit them tomb if the origin ra zavata fe in fiant one me jeans the origin le gen and le ulle me it's correct siman de tsa it will never work siman de me say yes that is why those of you who broke somebody's church to start your church i prophesy that your church will never work fa zainet ma never Sele matungalo era mis fenguna na tak zanu na tona wa ti tumbu mis le fenguna nao Your church will be like that chick Rabi sule ma psara ka fenguna no sina I think I need man rafa fenguna de ma mana ti tumbu san fenguna san As long as you break somebody's church. Rami sule no ma ka fenguna ulla fenguna naf to start your own church. Anangana no fenguna nao. Your church will never work. De tsande mit sin fenguna nao. You can feed it for 1000 years. As no fana na mandita na rifton san. It'll be small like this. Fa de mbulo kelo tsai fona le is. Yes. Yeah. There is something wrong with the foundation. Mi sabe da tsina nzarto fanu renan. Yes. Yeah. There are pastors on Facebook today. Miss pastor on Facebook am sawa. They never show the congregation of their church. Sia se un mitin pin on fengunan. In the video they the only, video. only see them. Fa isan no ita now. But they cannot show you the congregation. Fa isan maita mitso isan isan nundrin. Because there is no congregation. Sia se rot semana na fa fengunan. There is something wrong. Mr. Vatat Mandi Mlon and my pastor who had this chicken farm. Are pastor ku say manana ni ferma na pula yeyu. He lost all his money. Dear fair fool. Yes. Because Sati when you see a chicken Ramaita ku eno very small kid if you even be afraid. Na One day I went to a restaurant. And they gave me a chicken. A whole chicken was very small like this. And me na aku na crazy aku raine fa kill ya ku. 
I was afraid of it. And I couldn't eat it. I've never seen such a very small chicken like this. I did not eat it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> So today, you must do the right thing so that your church is not born out of the wrong way. You are a baby connected to your mother in your womb. And you can say, I want to be free. I want to walk like everybody. I want to see the light. Like everybody. And you come out. Out. And when you come out. You, you cannot breathe. You cannot breathe. You are dying. Because you came out too quickly. It's not your time to be independent. So an independent spirit is a cause of confusion. It is only anaconda snakes that do not stay with their mother for even one day. Yes. Yeah. Do you know that when an anaconda is born, on the same day, he leaves his mother that day. How can you leave your mother on the same day that you are born? It shows you are a snake. And when you are a snake, you Why can you not stay with your home, your mother, or your father, or the one who gave birth to you? Why can you not stay for even one day or one season? This one who... Uh, was introducing me to preach. He is a bishop. He is the bishop. He has a lot of churches. And he has been with me when he was a student in school. Yes. Yeah. Before. Talu and so. He was a student. Bula pianatis. In school, I officiated his wedding. He, he didn't have any child. Then after he had a child, I officiated his child's wedding. Or or his child engagement. Engagement. Yes. Yeah. It's a long time. There's nothing wrong with being together. Amen. Amen. There's nothing wrong with being together. <laughs> and the lady who sang also the same. For many years. I knew her when she was in school. Yes, she had no child. Had no husband. And no boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> What a blessing. Ah, the the same same people. Marbe. There is nothing, you don't have to break away from your mother or your father. It's only snakes who don't stay with their mother. Are you a snake? Hey. <laughs> now, an independent spirit means that you cannot be led by anybody. 
Nobody can lead you. Si shula faka matar kena. Why? Na wona. Why? Na wona. Some of you need to be led. Ni shem na rom bila tarin. To lead yourself, you need a gift of self-government. Fa raud ka itar kente na na wona dembi si fa jam tar kete na manu kana ilai na. And few pastors have a gift of self-government. Ar vitskel pastor a mana na zai fan meza paso fan am tar kete na zai. Yes. You need to be able to govern yourself. Famila ulam tarkeno. And not everybody can do that. Arnefa misulatsima vitam tarketena. We are sheep. Chicken wounds. And we always need to be together. A chicken mila miara kafon. To have a shepherd. Armila man na pian wounds. How many of you have seen a man walking in a field with about 20 sheep following him? Fire mnarone faita ulla na kray na dete omini saha na kray wounds. The ropul manarakas. Fana ita utran feno, hula tunra wundi ropul manarakana aze fana ita feno. Have you seen it before? Fana ita nzan feno. Raise your hand if you've seen it before. Rai fana ita nzan eno talu de atangam tana nao. Yes. Yento. Now, I need. How many of you have seen a snake and seventeen snakes following one man? De Fir ndai tamnaro na itawe bibla fa marmara ulla na kraya demis fit pull bibla fa manara kana se fa ita san fe naro no snakes don't follow anybody fan bibla fa se manara ka ulla na de vino vino no vino the reason why some of you cannot are not part of somebody's church is because you have a snake nature fa nyantu matunga na sa ulla sa sa nem tiket si manara kan vi fiangunda na kraya disati man na twete na menara na wanaten you are snake-like. Miselei ma menaran na tuita menaran. Serpent-like. The tuve menaran. That is why. Zai niyantun. You cannot stay. Zai matunga not staff tuit. Because snakes don't follow anybody. Satin menaran na tima naraka ulla mitin. Snakes you always find them alone. Fa ni melongo yan no ran menaran. But sheep. You can find them in a group. Milam vur miara kam naman. Following a shepherd. Manara kam piantiasis. Amen. And G the Bible says, we are the sheep of His hand. We are sheep. We are sheep. We are not snakes. We are sheep. We are not snakes. We are sheep. We are not snakes. We are not. We are not independent. We are not. 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 To stay together, it is pride that makes you fight. Your leader, you cannot stay together as we ought to. Yes. God wants to fill Madagascar with churches. Let us let us learn from the Catholic Church. Since the Catholic Church started. Up till today, they are together. The Catholic Church in Madagascar. The Catholic Church in, Ma in Ghana. The Catholic Church in Rome. They are all together. They wear the same uniform. The same color. They are together. They follow the same rules. They are in every country. And they are the strongest church. Even up till today. It is only the pastor of the Catholic church who when he preaches, it is reported on CNN. Only. How many pastors when you preach is it reported on CNN? Firem naro pastor na re from turten ba na le from CNN na ni turten na re. Do you have any pastors like that here? Fa naro pastor at si marbets is ma fakam turem CNN. So unity is important. Ni fitam bar na zande sa vadi pe. Togetherness. Ni ju miara mun. Is powerful. Fte miara mun na dia mche. They are fit in. And Satan wants us to be divided. And independent. Amen. 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 But God is giving us wisdom. So the first stage of disloyalty. 
is independent spirit. The second stage is offense. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and verse 10, Matthew took five atom ropul and din fafulu, many shall be offended. Mar nu taftuina. Now the the commonest reason why people become disloyal is offense. Fa ne kamarun matunga nul lets manarka de nuhun fataftuina. Amen. Amen. Everybody say offense. Tenenwe fataftuina. Amen. Amen. People become offended and hurt and then they become disloyal. Everybody who was, has been disloyal in my church for 35 years I have been a pastor the pastor of the same church every single person who became disloyal and left the church was offended all everybody is offended by something something they feel they should not have been offended by now, Jesus said as for offenses they will happen you have to be careful as a man of God that you do not allow offense to stay in your heart. Yeah. Because there is always something to offend us. Always. Yes. Yeah. Always. But you have to be careful to have a sweet spirit all the time. Many pastors are bitter. They are angry about something. They feel they have been offended or they are not respected. One of the reasons why pastors, you know, pastors are very insecure insecure is it the right word yeah. insecure yeah anything can offend you hey. Hey. when Yongicho came to Ghana we had some pastors Pastora, uh, we put them on the second row they were offended they were offended. Vintis. Why do you put me on the second row? Ah, no one say no Peter Katiam Larana Faru. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some people, when you advertise them on a program, <laughs> the picture is smaller than another person's picture is bigger. <laughs> they are offended. Why was my picture smaller? than this person's picture and they are offended oh yes yeah yes yeah many things offend pastors one day i had a pastor he was one of my good pastors and then he was the assistant or one of the assistants in a church and the pastor was traveling. When the pastor traveled, he said, this pastor will not preach when I travel. This one will preach. And this pastor was offended. And he wrote his resignation letter. I resigned from your church. Because he was not invited to preach for two weeks when the pastor traveled. Can you believe it? 
after 14 years Africa e fotambin fulton 14 years e fotambin fulton atatia far he came back vernis he said i'm sorry den tenis em funa i made a mistake na no fat suna i was offended tena tufuna please take me back tena rais rea i verna i said come back de oi but why do you get so hurt de oi sem verena fa manine no na no san that it changes your life fa some of you, your life is changed. Some you have allow hurt to go so deep. Because you have not allowed to Tanjem amrin pastor taftu ina rin. Hey. One day I was preaching. Ndayandro ran turten and I went to stand near somebody. Kan tsanga na toke kinula na kraya and I was preaching. Dem turia using the person as an example. Dena pesa le ula na kraya otra ni fanwaran. Ah ah he was offended. Tetis. You are standing near me it means you are saying that I am this bad thing that you are talking about. Fa enon tsanga na teo akae ko dia zazan le ratsy tam le ola ratsy ny teninao. You will miss your best blessings. Tena vutsy tra le fitaina goavana tokony hoazo no. If you don't get rid of hats. Ra ra ohatra no tsy mitandrina tsara ny amfonao. The Bible says. Hoin by bull. A priest must not have boils. Must not have boils. How can we see fine? I think our interpreter needs help. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> what is a boil? In a levi. It is a head that is not healed. Lay you lay rata Yes. Mm. That is a boil. Zay levi. So it gets filled with pus. Zania, you need to meet your father's pain. Yeah. And a priest Arrit. in Leviticus, I will not in Leviticus, must not have boils. The she took no is fire ni psurn. If you are here and you are a pastor, are yet in a row. Pastor, you are not supposed to have boils. In a row, the suku ni anana fear. They should all be healed. Amila sit in a in a row. Otherwise, you will miss. Your blessings. Farat sante vuts tran fita ina. And you will be cut off. Ade u vosara ke na. Yes. Yeah. One day, Ndayandro, my wife was pregnant. Bevukan fat. And I went with her to the hospital. Nyar katam tane mne hospitalia to a clinic. Anem clinic. I was sitting in the the, the doctor's room with her. Nyar katam ni vat to na ten sal salan doktora. And then I looked on the ground. Ten zirn tanya. And I saw the doctor's foot. Ita kun tung tle doctor. And I saw his toes. De ita kuru angufun. And because he was not wearing shoes, he was wearing slippers. Fa isin tunra kraru istam zay fa kapan weten. And I saw that he had only four toes. De ita kfa ratsa tung tle efa tafut sin teo amnas. Four toes. The big one. Le evoluni was not there. Si teo. So when he finished, I asked him, Doctor, where is your toe? You know what he said? He said, My toe is in Saudi Arabia. I said, How did your toe go to Saudi Arabia? He said, I went to work there. And one day, I hit my leg, my my foot, on the table. And it was hurt. It was hurt. But it became a boil. And it didn't go. And continued. It continued. It continued. It continued. Until it became serious. Doctor even want to cut off my leg. And they decided to cut off only the toe and see if it will get well. Der ratsin tapa na le ke betung tratsin verna na salama za. That they God spoke to me. Arzaine fa na lasa filasana wana say. Do you want to know what God told me? 
Faina uzi ntene na ndema ntatamku? Ina ntene na ndema ntatamku? Tino fata cha? Yeah, change, change, change. Yes. Well done, well done. Do you know what, do you want to know what God told me when, that day when I saw the toe missing? This microphone is loose. It has something in it that is not correct. Some wires are not touching. <laughs> Hello? One, two. Hello? Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. Now, do you want to know what God told me when I saw the missing toe? Oh, do you want to know or you don't want to know? Yes. God told me that if I get hurt, and I am not healed of sitat, the head, I will be cut off. Many people, you are cut off from your original church. And many people are cut off from your original position. Because of head that does not get healed. As for head, you will be hurt. It's a matter of time that you will be hurt. But when you are hurt, you have to overcome it, otherwise, you will miss the best life. This man has to live with only four toes. Because of hurt. Hey. Do you want some of your members to be cut off like this toe and Tina, be in Saudi Arabia? No. No. Your best ministry will be cut short because of heads. You know, one day, do, how many know Benny Hinn? Have you heard of Benny Hinn? Have you heard of Benny Hinn? Ah. One day, he was coming to Ghana to visit us in our church. We announced in the whole city. Benny Hinn is coming. Benny Hinn is coming. Benny Hinn is coming. Hey! hey. Then on the day he was supposed to come, either the day he was supposed to come or the day before, he sent a message. I'm not coming. We have announced in the whole city and prepared. If a new man, he didn't come. He gave a reason. People were even laughing at me in the city. You said this man was coming, he didn't come. But you see, I did not allow it to cut me. Oh, yes. 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 I did not allow it to hurt me. And that is why a few Years later, he said he was coming. I said, I said, come, I want you still, I still want you to come. And this time he came. He's even, he's even coming again. Yes. Yeah. Don't allow yourself to be cut off because you are hurt. 
Asa fiela mtena naoa ufo ungu tasati taftuan. How can it be that you cannot speak to your pastor? Awona netsa faka ifa presa kam pastor ano tsune nao. Some of you here you don't even speak to your former church pastor. Misha mnarero sawa le pastor ata ne fenguna na ne finaro tsire sa na ro tsune. Yes. Yeah. Do you have that in uh, Madagascar? Mana na sa ve tsike to Madagascar. You don't talk to you don't talk we don't talk anymore. Sumre sa tsu fa presa ka tsune. Hey. Hey. How and you call yourself a Christian? I don't have any pastor that I don't talk to. No, there's nothing like that. All my life in ministry, I don't have anybody above me or ahead of me I don't talk to this person I'm angry with this person no there's nothing like that I don't believe in that the bible says love covers a multitude of sins and if you don't walk in love your faith and your ministry will not work because faith works by love. Faith works by love. And ministry works by love. Because ministry is faith. And faith is ministry. Faith is your ministry. Because faith is your life. Your life is your faith. And therefore your ministry is your life. And your ministry is your faith. The just shall live or practice their ministry by faith. And faith works by love. Yes. You have to be careful of offenses and hurts that want to cut off you from your supply. I could never be anywhere without being connected to so many people. The Bible says they that that um, they are not made perfect without us. Oh yes, you will never be made perfect without some people. You will never catch the anointing without people. Yeah. Yeah. Those of you on Facebook, on YouTube. Remember, Remember that you are, you'll never become what God wants you to become unless you stay connected to whom God connects you to. Oh yes. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Some of you are offended by someone's color and mm -hmm. nation and tribe. You are not going to get much. Yeah. Yeah. God has blessed me so much through a Korean. Yeah. Yeah. A Korean. Korean. Called Yongicho. Oh, yeah. Yes. The fact that he is Korean. Korean it doesn't matter to me. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some of you are offended. By someone being from a different place. It disturbs you. God has blessed me greatly through a Nigerian. Bishop Idahosa. Bishop Idahosa. Bishop Oyedepo. Bishop Oyedepo. Ah. Hmm. But for some of you, it's always a problem that someone comes from somewhere. If you do that, 
Ratono sa ramano sa no wa cut off the ufunk cha yala nge na we from your best nda fa fam le tsara ndina no wa no le tsara ndina no ma no no funk cha yala msane na yes yeah your best le tsara ndina ministry le asa fam puna tsara ndina no ma no wa no So open your heart and have a free spirit. So that, so that you will not be offended. I'm saying not stuff to one and cut off. I want to say to every pastor who is quarreling and not talking to some other pastors. I have one thing to say to you. Shall I tell you what God tells me to tell you? I don't know whether you want me to tell you. I said I don't know whether you want me to tell you. God sent me to tell you shame on you. Shame. Ye nat. For your quarrels. Ye nat wan ya ti at na reu. For your conflict. Wando a a ro sfid. Shame on you. Sfid fi kef. Ye nat wan na reu. For your conflict. Ro a ti at na reu. Ye nat wan na reu. For your pride. Ni ni frea re na reu. For your pride. The Bible says only by pride cometh contention. Only. Only by pride. Only. Pride is the only reason why there is conflict. It's the only reason for trouble. Yes. And pride is the cause for satan's fall afria riana na rara kan satan so can you believe that there are some pastors in this room who don't talk to each other na reve mino mis pastera to na tan tief ti zo tsun fa presa ka nya fa zo an one min fenaro So the first stage of this loyalty is independent spirit. And the, the second stage is offense. The third stage is passivity. passivity. Now, passivity is another way of communicating the lalana ray ani un disapproval with simakasita when a person disapproves refa simakasita kan you lalai when a person is not flowing with you refa misul lo tare tsimai me ara dia no one of the ways the lalana ray is to become passive the manew is we tsimano ni ni tsimano ni ni na mit passive and to do nothing the tsimano ni ni na mit is amen Amen. Let me read a scripture. To you from Jeremiah chapter 48 and verse number 10. Jeremiah 48 Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 48 and verse 10. Jeremiah 48 and verse 10. Amen. Amen. Yes, read it. Ah, particularly is Jeremiah 48:10. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. And curse be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Aru fuuze na de semana so na saba ne tsa ndatsa tsa. Amen. Amen. Now, the Bible says So I'm by pull them ten. When you hold back your hand, refa mi aso na tana no we no wa. You've done something bad. Cha no we nin te man te manosa va tache no san. You should have hit. 
Tukune na mili no deliver tsy na mili. Oh you didn't. Deliver tsy na to no le is. Ah that's wickedness. De faratsin zany. Yes. Yeah. In my life tan fiana ko and my ministry. Na sa fan puk. In my life and my ministry. Tan fiana ko sa fan puk ko. Some of the strongest blows negative blows I have ever received were blows of passivity yes. since I became a pastor some of the strongest strikes against me have been strikes of passivity someone who should have spoken but he didn't speak yes yeah watch out for those who don't speak when they should speak those who don't act when they should act yes it's very dangerous to have people who don't say anything now if you are the assistant pastor in a church and people complain about your senior pastor to you and they say oh pastor is preaching too long and you are the assistant pastor and when they say pastor is preaching too long you just smile at him and say I know it is too long. I it is too long. Let's keep praying for him. Is it a good thing? Is it a good thing? No, it's not a good thing. You know what you could have told him? When the person said, it is too long. He's preaching too long. You could have told him, it's not too long. Don't you watch movies for five hours? Don't you watch movies for five hours? Don't you watch movies for three hours? Netflix, you watch seasons, episodes, 20 episodes in one day our netflix and on the episode ro police and do you have netflix here yes sir do you watch episodes in madagascar episodes yes sir yes sir chicken ter episode na re seria ra tsikren zane no velas monte na malaza ne tsika why didn't you tell the church member manina ra batene no le pika mano pengunan it is good that he preaches for a long time. Because we are being really blessed with this long message. That is what you should have told him. But when you say, I know he's preaching for too long. Don't worry. We are praying about it. You have held back your hand. That is passivity. And when you are a leader, some of the greatest wickedness that can be done against you is assistants who should speak but they will not speak. Who should talk but they will not talk. Who should defend you but they don't say anything. They don't say anything negative, but they don't say anything. Yeah. Now, in the Bible, there was a man called Amnon. And Amnon raped Absalom's sister. And Absalom was very angry. The Bible says Absalom spake neither. When he saw Amnon, he just said, Oh, hello. Good morning. Good night. Hi. 
hey me rapa nas that's what the bible says santi nen pepul he said neither good nor bad santi ni so this na tsara na rats hey hey watch out for those who don't say anything tandi ma mre nulla santi ni nin den They don't say anything bad. Sometimes have a ratsis ya. And they don't also say anything good. They just say have a tsara yanku. It's the same. Sa tu fianza. Hey. Then the Bible says after two years. Dio si sempre pule ruto nata teorina. Absalom made a party. Tena no fete Absalom. And invited all his brothers and he invited Amnon who raped his sister. Now, if somebody doesn't talk to you for two years, and he has a party, and he invites you to the party, don't go to this party. I will advise you. Yes. Yeah. If Amnon can I get my loyalty book if Amnon had read my book Ramban fakini Amnon as on book kwa he would not have gone to this party Yes he would yeah. not have gone to the party Tsnakanem le fetis Yes yeah Oh yes yeah Now Amnon went to the party because he did not know the principles of loyalty and disloyalty. Amnon na kanem le fete sa titsen tip kun fat kina so fi fatien. Was he was at the party was drinking eating meat. Te tanem le fete sa sa don sutis ni na kena. Fish. Ah crevete atu. Pia la piera. Ah he was happy wine. Faleris sa dina nin. And at a point Absalom told his servants go and kill him. They would say Absalom and Matthew Panupu taftona and they stand of no Jesus shocked. They take a tamp kam no na tamp sefto say. Why was he shocked? Nina na take a tamp kas because he didn't know such it's fatal that when a person doesn't say good or bad. Satira misu let some ten tsara na rat no. It still has a meaning. Mis dikan san. Watch out for those who don't say anything. Mtandrem amre let some ten nin. Yes. Is the Spirit of passivity. Fanan passivity, san fanau. Passivity. Passivity. Yes. Otan tsmano ni ni nasan muti ofut. Since I became a pastor, atam na pastera na. The biggest and greatest strike. Er ne attack na fanau fia na le pe ni das kwa fanau ni dana nu wata na. In my life, tan fia na have not been from active strikes so we are to fana fia na tena ita maspe people who don't act for what no let's man on in na san both internal and external now are not na fani fila yes in yeah. fact what has affected relationships more than anything else is some people who are passive nsava da tena maniba fifa ndaisa na miota nsava ta reta na tere no la passiva mut some tere so watch out come tandema Be careful of quiet people. I said be careful of quiet people. Do you have quiet people in your life? When they see you they don't say much. Hey. Every quiet person who you think doesn't talk much I am telling you he talks a lot somewhere. But not to you. To you is quiet. But to others. He talks. Serena on stage. Amen. Amen. Number 4. The next stage of disloyalty. Critical stage. Critical stage. Numbers 22 and verse 3. Numeria 23. Numbers 22 and verse number 3. Numbers number chapter 12. Read Numbers chapter 12 and verse 1. Numeri tuk farumbe fulo atenendin foluan. Numeritus, eh? And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses. Ar Miriam maserona uzi sinten na metsine Moses. Because of the Ethiopian woman. Nun lefe faf kusita. Whom he had married. Seifa na pakarne. Or he had married an Ethiopian woman. 
Amen. 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 Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses. Miriam and Miriam was struck with leprosy. Yes. So about speaking against God's servants. There are people who die on the day that they speak against God's servants. That's their end. The Bible says, don't touch my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. There are people in Tomasina, Antananarivo, all over, and Tirade, they speak against God's servants. That's the day they get leprosy. Leprosy is the incurable disease. Yeah. Incurable means that cannot be cured with medicine. Yeah. Today, uh, today, leprosy represents cancer. Because in those days, leprosy could not be healed. But in these days, it's cancer that cannot be healed. And so you have to be careful Camilla, when you are watching men of God Be because their lives are open they are easy to criticize. Easy. It is easy to criticize. The greatest of God's servants are the easiest to criticize. Because And the day that Miriam opened her mouth to speak about Moses. That was the day that she got lep God gave her leprosy in response. God's response to Miriam was to give her a sickness that she could never be cured from. Yeah. Yeah. Now if you are here. You have to be careful when you speak about pastors. You don't understand what they are doing. Miriam could not understand why should you marry an Ethiopian? Why? Why? She didn't like it. And they criticized him. Number one, what you criticize will never come to you. Eh? You cannot benefit from somebody you criticize. That's why people are not anointed. They attack God's anointed. They attack God's anointed. Yes. Yes. You want to criticize me? You know, they are medicine and anana chiana. Ah? Huh? I have come from my country. To your country. What you feel in a to have a crusade here. Anana cross at it. And you are criticizing me. They know if I'm anana chiana. Why don't you come to my country and have a crusade? Have you thought about it? Why don't you come to my country? And have a crusade? It's very simple. Just come. All you need is a stage. 
Sound system. Ah, système à sono sonorisation. Musical equipment. Ah, instrument à musique. And um, what else do you need? In a course, I'm gonna make it a word. Get some chairs. A chairs, ah. Some equipment. Ah, after that, it's a carazan. And a ship. Just get a ship. Ah, the mila samp ko eno itun manan leeta na makan. To bring the things to Ghana. Ah, mila samp eno itun ayeta na wani kana. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Say footed. And then come. Don't don't even come to the capital. Go to Anna. I'll show you some towns. Areas atunga nemre fuat kana. Mister Anna Turko no te ani ali. And gather some thousands of people and preach to them. Te angun niul la na rivu te tri wana senten. Try doing what I'm doing. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, go to another country. And when you finish in Ghana, Do what I'm doing. Atofsi atokware. Or even do a part. Nani a a part for the other time. Yeah. Yeah. What what you criticize will never happen to you. And savata chi and not so one him knows and means. There are people who don't have money because they criticize a pastor who was taking offering. the way he took offering since that day they are poor and they will never be they will never be prosperous in this ministry in this world monsieur let's meet manambula mit satisam critique manachia nam panupuna de manta manachia nam ten panupuna de manta son fumba fanovana fanat ya tam sayam say katam soa smet manambula mit is financially ara financier ara pula you saw somebody taking offerings maita ule no mandrai fanat And you speak against it. Them ten manu what has you know? That's why your ministry you cannot even afford to buy a ticket to the, travel. They send them to go on a Pierre to for fit no meeting. Yes. Yeah. Why are you criticizing? Manine no manachia. Somebody has a mega church. Mishwi ulla manana mega church of Nguna na Kwavan. Why do you speak against it? Manine no manu wa Tanzania. Or speak against the pastor. Manine no ten manu wa Tanzania le pastor. When you have only 28 members. Never pchamba no no falombro pul. You have only 28 members. Falombro pul pchamba no no. Why don't you say I want to learn from this man something? Manine no ramba mpene ndemba yana ta safa ta mnyulela you are. Criticizing is the greatest sign of your pride. Oh ni mark frere ana le pendinda na te fana tiana na sfamesa tsini. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The greatest sign of your pride. And is in Marcia le pedina and frere a now. Yeah. Tin fana. You want to criticize the way I preach? Tin au critique na na chian na fumba fturk. Ha. Ha. Have you tried preaching before with a Malagasy interpreter? You know we van tour ten era ga tampa dike ten cash weta lua lue. Come to Ghana I will give you an interpreter and you see what you can do. A refa tunga ne kana e no te mene pan dike ten te wita na yo se se one. This is why people are not great. San matunga ni ulat se lepenge. Let me give you some advice. Make to rave te now. Hello san me to rave. Shall I give you some advice? Ti nove saran ba me to rave te now. Shall I give you some advice? Ah. When it comes to church. Refare sa kafenguna na. And God's work. Ah, asia san ande mant. Pastors. Pastera. Never make any comment about what somebody is doing. Ah, sama no commentera mi siam sa bata ton nyul. Just learn what you don't know. Ah, ye na futsun se te now. And keep quiet about things you don't understand. That's all. So that God can bless you. I'm saying the man have a come God can now. give you something. I'm saying the man have a come and miss have a now. Try to remember what I'm saying. I touch two things about that thing, son. Yeah. I remember a great man of God. Not a tit panu panu the man to kuwa fana say. He said. The day that he made the greatest mistake in his ministry. He was about to sign something. And he remembered a pastor's conference. And 
he remembered at the pastor's conference, the person who was speaking said to him, preaching, he said, beware of voices of haste. Voices that make you hurry up. He said as he was about to sign. The greatest mistake of his whole life. He remembered that pastor's conference. Beware of voices of haste. But he just signed. That was, the, that was the end of his ministry. Yeah. I want you to remember this pastor's conference. Maybe one day it will be important. Don't criticize any pastor. Small or big. Old or any church. Just leave them and learn something from them. And what you don't understand, just be quiet. Don't talk about it. I hope you remember. I hope you remember. Amen. 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 So be careful. One time, God gave me a vision, a dream, a vision. I was lying on the floor in a hotel. And suddenly I was far away in a valley. And I was walking with two friends. And as I was walking, in the, I saw an animal far away in the mountains. As I was talking to my two friends, I began to criticize a man of God. In the dream, I was criticizing a pastor. What do you think about this? I want to feel Tom Macaskans. Say something. I want to feel Tom Macaskans. I want to feel Tom Macaskans. Suddenly, the tamp katewa, the animal, le pip, which was far away in the mountain, laughed a bit. I don't know how he could hear me. The checker wanted na yenuna na. But he could hear. Fayen lees. And as soon as I spoke, the fontena, the animal started coming towards. The nanup kana nantu na le pip. Far from the mountain, laughed a bit. Fayen a tenu water fayen. Yeah. You see, every time you criticize, you, in the realm of the spirit, you are, you are calling evil things to come to you. So, in that dream, vision, the animal kept coming. But I didn't want to look. And it was coming. And coming. Until it was close by, and I turned around like this. And there was this animal, the animal that heard my voice criticized. It was right in front of me. And my friends were on my right and my left. And it jumped. It jumped. It jumped, it jumped to my chest. It jumped up. And I screamed. And when I screamed, I woke up. I was on the floor. In the hotel. God spoke, God spoke to me. God spoke to me. Every time you open your mouth, to speak against my servant. You are calling in the realm of the spirit. You are Dem calling evil spirits to come to you. For many people, diseases and death begins when you speak against God's servant. Yes. Yeah. It's true. So I don't know who you are but you have to be careful because many, how many have spoken against God's servants before? Only eight people. 
I think Tuamasina is full of angels. Mostly angels in uh, Madagascar. And yet Madagascar or Tanyan Zil San Pitak. And stage what is stage number one? In the uh, uh, stage for Luan San. What is stage number one? In the stage for Luan Tin and Toletina for Luan Fifa Tiana San. Independent spirit. Stage number two. In the Faru. Offense. I cannot hear you. Stage number one is what? Let them see. Stage when you say stage number one, then they say. Then you say stage number two, then they say. Up to stage four. All yes, right, sir. ready? Go. You go. In Independent spirit. Tinyana faru. Offenses. Tinyana fatenu. Passivity. Tinyana faevata. Is that stage number four? Yes, criticism. What's stage number five? In and far team. Political. Okay. Are we done on that already? Not yet. Sir. Stage number five. Far team, yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, political spirit is very important that politics does not come into the church. Politics is when you, when you talk to people and you are able to get a lot of people to support you. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you ever have an assistant who is a politician, you, Ram, are, you are finished. Raman an assistant pano politiche no fite no. He likes to talk to people. Tim resa kamanulis and get people's support. Tima kaula nuwa nanas. Yes, but your support does not come from people. Your support comes from God. Fan fan wana noti afam nulla fa fam na demand. Amen. 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 So, Absalom is the best example of a political assistant. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? A political assistant. Always wants to talk to people. To get them to agree. People don't want to do things alone. They want to say, many people are not happy in the church. Yeah, many people are not happy with the way you are doing things. This is what gives them strength. Yes. yes. If you put such a person in charge of the choir, he will try to win all the choristers to be his personal friends. And all the choristers will personally like him. He will try to attend their weddings. He will try to attend their weddings. And visit them in their houses. Make friends with them. Let them give him money. Let, let them like him. Personally. But not the church. Ah. If you have such a person as your assistant. He will win the heart of the people. The Bible says. Absalom stole the hearts of the people. How can someone break away. Do you have this in Madagascar? I don't know whether you have this. Somebody breaks away from a church. And he takes half of the church. Or he takes one third of the church. 
or he takes a lot of people. Do you have such things in Manana Zambe Tinga to Madagascaro Mishula Niala from Fenguna Tina Line Tasa Nana Patelo Nafefa Confenguna Miss Zambe to Madagascar? He's able to take half of the church, one third of the church, or a lot of people away. Do you have it in Madagascar? I thought it was only in Ghana. A fair fan of Ghana, yeah, Mr. Zane. Manana Zambi, take it to Madagascar. We, ni alo penguna ni stena line ni atsasa ni fair fan ya ni ulla to penguna. Reva mama tika te afaka mananga tana na te amse fata ni mama lienti. Hey! All those people are thieves. Renula retinen pangalat. Just like Absalom was a thief. First, they steal the heart of the person. Then after that, they steal the person himself. Yes. Yeah. Your greatest mistake was to give the person to be in charge of a group. Now, if you are here and you have stolen somebody's church members to start your church I, I want you to know that you are under a curse you are under what? what, what is curse? Ujuna. Ujuna. Yes, sir. Ujuna. yes sir. you are under an ujuna yeah <laughs> oh yes yeah why? Satina one. Why? Why are you under an ujna? Famani ne none umban ujn. Zechariah chapter five and verse three and four. Zechariah sankia trua kater. Zechariah chapter five verse three and four says that there is a curse in a house of a thief. Misus no uzi si awatan pangalat. There is a curse where? Hey, some misus no we. Every thief has a curse in his house. So turn to the person sitting next to you and ask him, have you stolen anybody's church members? Have you stolen anybody's church members? Anybody's Precious church member. So the banangalar no le pin nulla sar bit to pengunan. There's nobody who said yes. No one. There's nothing like that here. Mission tene yen fewe nangalar atanis. Tell the person next to you if you have stolen. Remember Zechariah chapter five verse three and four. You are under a curse. Yes, sir. At tenen to the omle ulo ke kno te tenen isia ranangala ta tane no we te tat tu le sakara cinq te wa trois cinq ya we awon banus na ye no now the reason why some pa some pastors are tired all the time is because they cannot go on holidays matunga pastor are era ka fona cha faka mano fa concerts are yo they cannot go on holiday. Because the assistant will steal the members. Satira for man of the angalarle assistant cabin. So they cannot go on holiday. They have to work every day. Hey. Hey. Now I have a friend, Pastor. He built a church in South Africa. With 3000 members. Everybody say 3000. Yeah. yeah. And he decided to go on holiday to America. So he went with his family. And I think he stayed a little longer. A few weeks. And he left his assistant in charge. Then assistant na filang kara kara teo. Hey, hey. When he came back from the holiday, reba fair na fano vacancies ya. His assistant came to see him the same, either the same day or the same week. Te tau avo fair na fano vacancies ya te na na tu na na si assistant na tam ni ni andri na tam ni na andri le na tu gavanzan. And his assistant said. 
God has told me to resign. What? I've just come from holiday. I told you why pastors don't rest. It's because of this kind of thing. The pastor said, I have resigned. God told me to resign. So the pastor said, Please, I beg you, I have just come from holidays. Pastor said, No. I have to leave now. So he resigned. Can you believe? All the 3,000 members also resigned. It was left with 18 people. It was left with 18 members, including his wife and his children, was part of the 18 members. All the members, I don't know what he told them when the pastor was on holiday. All the members resigned, everybody left. When the pastor came back from his holiday, leaving 18 members with his wife, including his wife and all his children and his maid servants and those in the house with him. Check says about that. Then in the lipin totam le na no fakans pastor fan ne farania falon be full mera kam fatia man zanam pastor asisa tafatan. And he went and started a church. The last is na nanga na fengunan na nuka fengunan. With the man's church members. Yes. Mm. Zachariah chapter 5. Zachariah took Fatim. Verse 3. And in Fatim. There is a curse in the house of a thief. A few months later. He had a phone call. The pastor was sick. In the hospital. And in the hospital. And he was unconscious. Yes, this one, the man who took the 3,000 members. And now, not only unconscious, he went into a coma. So the pastor told me, I went to the hospital to pray for him. But he couldn't wake up from the coma. Within six months, he was dead. Yes. Now listen. This man who took away somebody's church and took away his life's work because a pastor's members are his life's work. He took it away. When the pastor was on holidays, within six months, he was also dead. His life was taken away. Yeah. He decided to uh, fast. And during his fasting, he became unconscious. Yeah, that's yeah. how he died. He, yeah. yeah. So nobody here should steal anybody's church members. Yeah. Ask to tell your neighbor if you have stolen anybody's church members, return them to the original shepherd. What is stage number one? Stage number one. 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 Stage number 
Offenses. Tinya na fatelo? Passivity. Tinya na fayefata? Criticism. Tinya na fatimi? Political spirit. Stage number six, deception. Fa, 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 yedna, fitak. Amen. Manof, amen, na? Amen. Manof, amen, na mafe? John chapter 13 and verse 16. Zona a tukfa telo be full te adin fa yena be full. John chapter thirteen and verse sixteen. Zona three says. John chapter thirteen and verse sixteen. So. La seko mna romar na te mar na tuku. Ne a dev tsele pe nun tumpu ne a. Na ni ira ka nun man ira kas. Amen. Amen. A servant is not greater than his master. You know, you'll never be greater than your master. You know what? Even if you do greater works, you'll never be greater. God has put a limit. That a servant cannot be greater than his master. When it comes to certain things, you will never be greater than the person who taught you. I have probably won more souls than so many people, but I'm not greater than those people. Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Huh? Maybe he won more souls than even Jesus. Maybe the people that were alive on the, in the whole world, the souls that Billy Graham has won now were more than the people that were alive in the time of Jesus in the whole world. Is Billy Graham greater than Jesus? No, he cannot be greater than your master. Many young pastors are deceived that they are becoming greater than people that were there before them. That is why they attack and criticize. The Bible says you will rise up and honor a gray headed man. Anyone who has been a pastor for some years, no matter what, you have to respect him. Yes. Yeah. So don't let deception fool you. You see some younger pastors so deceived. I'm going to do greater things. I'm better than the one who taught me. I will fight the person who taught me. It's a deception. That rather is the sign that you are deceived. Yes. Yeah. One day there was a karate. They are saying this is karate in India. Karate. Karate. Master. This metal karate, eh? Hey. Hey. And this karate master Tele had many students. Tele metal say na 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 piano to pesak. And he taught them all his tricks. Te na pe na arne na asta wole refiche fiche reet. And he told all his students, I have 39 tricks. 39. And he taught them how to fight. Oh, yes. Huh? And one day, one of his students, he learned the 39 tricks very well. Tenenaranta, all the, 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 the
tricks and afita pita kasi biam terpul. And he challenged the master. Pelasam sayi siya, challenge na nuwatan le papile metram sayi. Because he felt that he was younger and stronger, and even with the same tricks, he would be better than the master. Te isa ni siya we matanza kalafta nun le metra ni sa di tanura lafta nun sa di mayan le le move mo si biam ter police ya te te fian metram sayi. So the master asked him, "You really want to fight me?" Do this le metr te na te ya te am kumar na veno. He told him, "The time has come for me to take my position." Te wuzi se tung softon akakun tu erak saram sayars. Wow! Wow! So the master agreed to fight with him. And so you see the old man. And it's a young man like this. Wow. So they started fighting. One minute went by. Two minutes. Three minutes. minutes. Suddenly. The the young guy Le san was on the floor and the master's leg was on his, his de head de like de and the young fighter started crying he said master Metra. how come you have defeated me in just three minutes I not minute there is. and the master put his leg on his head he said because I have 40 tricks i taught you only 39 there was a lemetra de satia samana na fita fita ka efa pul fan si via per pul na penar yes i have 40 i taught you only 39 of my tricks and si via per pul na penar fan sa efa pul ne nada ko and the young man said please teach me the last i said no i will never teach you there was a lemetra ba penar na le fa efa pul de ah sa ti penar you cannot be greater than your master. No matter who you are. There is always something your master knows that you don't know. You must not be deceived. You'll be surprised. Yes. How great. How great. Yes. Your master is. Yeah. You know, I have seen some men of God. When God is using them, it's nice. It's just nice. But I realize the fathers who train them are greater than they are. Never be deceived in the ministry. Never be deceived in the ministry. Yes. Yeah. You think the person is weak or old. But that is when he has certain powers that are stronger. You must fear old pastors. Yes. You must fear old pastors. There's, there is a man who prayed for Reinhard Bonke before he died. The day before he died. He's called, what's he called? George Jeffries. George Jeffries Yes. He laid hands on Bonke. He died the next day. Very old and great man. Very old and great man. He also prayed and laid hands, prayed for a great man who came to Ghana and has established more than twenty thousand churches. Then he stood as a ranga zeku fava kwa na lela na kraisaya. Ah, se tunga tani kana zani na nanga na fengu na na pdp au kana ku. People criticize him. George Jeffries. George Jeffries. But God was using him mightily. When he spoke the blessing over Bonke. That is how come Bonke became 
what we heard of him to be. Bernard Ponke watan le fata tsika ke tinza. Yes. Yeah. Don't be deceived. Asa metu fo fitak because of a, a little victory that you have. Asa metu fo fitak asa tiwe na ita fantasy na kile no te fo fitak. Don't be deceived. Asa metu fo fitak. Deception. Fitak ka? Is Satan's weapon against you. Fita ka te fitovan satana anu watana. To make you anu. think you are something you are not. E ma atunga no ye tete we e no wa ulla ulla tse no wa kur lasa e no me fite na u ulla afa ne se ne fa fita ka lis. When I was younger, tam sambola tanura. I tried to raise the dead. Na 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 tam matia. If you call me. Refa me antsona you know that somebody is dead I go like an ambulance Rami antsona you know e misula mate ri tsotra de ambulance re ne me zaka zaka makan tamsan I was like an ambulance What's an ambulance sami cha tamsan If you call me I go to race De we me antsona you know e misula mate ri de ne zaka zaka de anangan But they didn't rise Fa tsin tsanga na lis from the dead Tsin tsanga na tam mate mi tsi lis Yeah and i didn't understand why te tsas ko tam sare fa manin when you are younger there are many things you don't understand reva ta nura ngeno pe de pensa va ta tsitaka tsoe maybe if they had risen from the dead i would have become so proud ra tam sane zona nanga na tam matanga ma fe freare i would have seen myself as god met na itam teno ko tsina ndre manta ran ran etel istam san yes yeah and that would have been my distraction te san metu anto na putika nana na ringa na ko yes yeah so Don't be deceived. Kaza metu fo fita ka. Deception will make you. Look at Lucifer. Deception will make you like Lucifer said I will ascend to God. I'm going to take God's throne. I mean, he wanted to sit where God he wanted to sit on God. So God, get up. And I Lucifer whom an angel whom you created, I'm taking your place. Tirenge na so Satan fo fita kis. Teu é um place na demante. Tu já demante tsangana teu sante e pedra. E fa isso a zelo frun na demante. If you are here, right you know, and you were appointed as a pastor, tetete na pastor, or ordained by someone in Madagascar, ah na wen tetete nulla, ah ah nuswa tetete nulla, afeto Madagascar, and you become deceived, temetu vofita ke no, that you can overthrow, wen 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 te passe na wen as fuka da pe, and displace, ah temete new fatu na ku, and discipline. The one who ordained you. You, you are deceived. Te fo fita ke nao. Le ulla bana nufa na nao ye no den ma piana tanas ma nitsa nas ndeta reta. Fo fita ke nao. You cannot discipline your pastor. Ye no tsa fa ka ma nitsa pastera nao. You cannot train your pastor. Ye no tsa fa ka ma nufa nan pastera nao. You cannot correct your pastor. Ye no tsa fa ka ma nitsa pastera wa lua nao. You cannot rebuke your pastor. Tsa fa ka peta pastera nao ye nao. Don't be deceived. Asa fo fita ke. It is God who will correct his own shepherd. And the man tan ya nitsa piand. Don't be fooled. Asa asa tal. I've had people who feel that they are going to discipline me. Sana ita ulla we sare on ne nitsa na. In the ministry they are going to, to discipline me. Sare on ne discipline ya na. And correct me. Anitsa na. Wonderful. Maf nafta. No. Ah. Don't let it get into your head. Asa fele it to want to know san. You may know something. But you, but you don't know enough to be greater than your master. Even though you know a lot, you never be greater than your master. Amen. Amen. And then finally, stage number one is what? Ah, tinjana folua ni na we tenen mafi. Independent spirit tinjana faru. Stage number two. Offense fatelu. Passivity fire fata. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Stage number one. Ah, follow us, Anthony and Mafia. Independent spirit. Tinya na farua. Offenses. Tinya na fatelu. Passivity. Tinya na fire fata. Criticism. Tinya na fatimi. Political spirit. Tinya na fire na. Ah, deception. Hmm. Deception and yes. stage number seven. Alpha fito. Open rebellion. Ah, uh, a uh, fan wera na fanta. Amen. Fan wera na fanta. Manova amen na mafia. 
open rebellion. Van waar dan van dan? Rebellion direct is aan. Most rebellion is not open. En van waar dan reet en dat dit zo van dan naar de Cameroen. Most of this loyalty is not open. And FIFA die na dit zo van dan naar van dan zo. Six is not open. Alle die na voor Luca dan niet van je na. Zou dat zo zo van dan? Covered rebellion. Covered rebellion. En dan pak onder en van waar dan dan om zo. Covered disloyalty. FIFA die na dan pak pak onder en. Hidden disloyalty. Hidden. Me afkafen zijn FIFA die na. It's covered. Me afkafen. People rarely are open. Dan zal het zo maar alles. In their rebellion. Yes. That is why it takes stages. To get to open rebellion. Somebody can be in a church for many years. And be secretly rebellious. And he will be secretly disloyal. Secretly a Judas. For six good stages. Independent he will be. Yes, la sa obsyo malotena. Memory he will be. Ah yes, mun mun na. Offended he will be. Taftu anisi. Criticizing he will be. Anachi anis man metin. Doing politics he will be. Ano politika opengunar. Deceived he will be. Sofita kis. But all this is not open. It is all hidden. It is hidden. Until one day. It comes out openly. In rebellion. All the people that I have seen in my church. Who have been openly against me. Openly. They were all secretly against me for a long time. Yes. Yes. Yes, they were all secretly in the church. Either they were, either they were independent. When, when you call for meetings, they don't come. Or if they come, they come late. Or you never see them. Or when you are preaching, they don't say amen. They never na ukwatu nom turtete so let's man or amen. They don't smile when you are preaching. Yes, some chick mitse de fam turtene no. They don't clap when you are preaching. Some te aga mitse sare de fam turtene. It's all hidden. Niafuna ta wal sa. Hidden. Niaf kafun. Covered. Saruma na tan. Covered. Na 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 tan. Independent spirit. San fa na malo ten san. Offended. Taftuan. Political. Mano politika opengunan. They meet secretly. They discuss secretly. And then one day, at the end of it all, when they cannot hide it anymore, they, they come to the next stage of open rebellion. Lucifer didn't rebel against God in one day. It was years. Hundreds of years, thousands of years, that it took. Where he was being filled with hatred. Lucifer was being filled with hate. And independence. And his beauty. The Bible says he was corrupted by his beauty. He was originally perfect. But his ministry and his beauty gradually affected him. Until one day, there was open war in heaven. And he was cast out. Judas, the same. You think he decided to betray Jesus in one day? No. For some time, he was thinking. He was thinking what I, what I can do. What I can get. He was a thief for a long time. He was stealing for a long time. Yes. Ahitophel. 
e Aitofel. He betrayed David. Isi na nuota ntafiti. But why why did he betray David? Yina kai na nuera ntafiti. He was an uncle to Bathsheba. Isi nje at a tonton Bathsheba and he was offended. Taftuan is. Nobody Absalom was offended when his sister was raped. E Absalom taftua na tamde nisna nula na nia na pavn. And his father did not discipline his brother Amnon or execute him. Te so an rights ba we pet na we na munon le 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 ralane kur. It takes years. Amatona takin. Ask your neighbor. Antanule ule okay knau. Is disloyalty developing in you secretly? Miss disloyalty developing in you secretly. Miets kets kel kel ena tano an. Miss develope mura mura ena tano an. Antanule ule okay knau. So te ba miss an sanu an ena tano an. Will you not ask your neighbor? Ask your neighbor. Are you secretly becoming Judas Iscariot? Antony Charis, Antony, you know it's not a fact that Judas Iscariot is a murder, murder. And then stage number eight. Our father, the judge of Fafalo, execution. Fana Tatiran. Execution. Fanata Tehran. All disloyal people end in the same way. Ni ni ulla fat kareta nete fara nam sabata ra itamba. They are destroyed. Put kare sareo ringa. They are destroyed. Ringa nam sareo. Lucifer was destroyed. Lucifer ringa. Judas was destroyed. Atu tas ringa. Ahitofel was destroyed. Ahitofel ringa. Absalom was destroyed. Ya Absalom ringa. Every rebellious pastor. Every pastor and disloyal pastor. Every pastor and fat kareta. Will be destroyed. Put katawal. You can write it down. Surat san. It will happen. San nisyo. If the word of God is true. Ramar na te na demanda te. San nisyo. Whatever you sow, you will reap it. San san san. Whatever you sow, si afafunul. You will reap it. San san san. Yes. Yeah. Absalom came and took his father's wives. Na lain Absalom and fat and rain. His life was taken, not his wife's. His life. Son, father, na lain afan fiena mitsen nyungcha tam nefio. Yes. Yeah. When David came back, Revan fiera tafit. He called for his wives. Nyan son, father, nis. And as which of you did Absalom sleep with? Isa kai ni arana tur tam ni Absalom na reo. Absalom had taken this drug Viagra. I Absalom atam san ni na na Viagra mitsi. Do you know Viagra? Fata tobe san Viagra. Yeah. Ah. To have sex with all of David's about eighty women, he was having sex with all of them. We are no fry sa nam na fatum fal pulo. I no fry sa nam san mila Viagra. Maybe they gave him Viagra in those days. It was a mixture of what do you call it? You drink it like this. Me Viagra tam san sin comprime in fami sabata fangar war tam san. Hey. Hey. He had sex with all of them. He said, "You, you are my father's favorite. Come." Come, lie down. Who is he? Absalom, my son, left off. I am not the one who needs to talk to. Have you no mature yet, Angel? Are you? Are you not the one whom my father calls sweetheart? It's a novel. Let's not talk to Sherry. Are you not the one he calls sweetheart? Yes. It's a novel. Let's not talk to Sherry. Sherry. Lie down. Have you mature yet, Angel? Absalom, son. He called another. Are you not the one whom my 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 daddy calls sugar baby? It's a novel. Let's not talk to Sherry. Mom, mom. Are you not the one he calls you? Come. Have you no idea? By that time, he has taken Viagra and he was able to go many rounds. The time Sani Zamina na Viagra de manesis mitis. Hey. You don't. They don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. Acha sunare ba zane ba zame cha sunare ba zane zak san. Ah, they are angels in Tomasina. Aet kumu angel ta wol neta Tomasina. So God said, "You Absalom, you take." And and when when David came back, he asked, "Which of you did Absalom sleep with?" And they all lifted up their hands. Tere ba fear and tafita de. Is atam na ren ni arana tur tam ni Absalom. Is reta na nanga tana na taul. And he sent them all away. Ten ruan ni arana taul na sareo. For the rest of their lives. Tam sniam pen and reta. Yeah. Yeah. So Absalom took some people's lives. Ah, y Absalom anaka fear na nul. Through Absalom, so about forty thousand people died. 
tamin'ny alalan'ny Absalom nisy ola 40000 la maty but he paid with his life fa na loan tam fiainan ko zany fiainan ko ny sorona tam judas cost the life of jesus atsutasia na na marta ny fiainan fiainan jesus and he paid with his life de fiainan ko nan doavana azy avy eo yes lucifer destroyed the peace in heaven lucifer na nimba fetana na tany dant and god has given him eternal darkness de ande mantsa na meana azy fa maisida na mandraka sy oh yes yeah whatever you sow See a fafa not in you reap it it's in the now you break somebody's church fa fa kino fengona no la sasa your life will be broken te fena no ku fa kino you destroy somebody's ministry te ano ne safan pun sasa the ministry will be broken te fa no ne safan pun no ku put today is a day of repentance and one ya and fi be pan god wants us to build his church and the manta mila tsika nanga na fengona and with all this disloyalty you cannot build a church are am nela sans di ro fi fatia na retro ro are nena na no tsafa ka nanga na fengona ne no ro la client fatsa ka na de man la client fatsa ka na de man fatkin yes fatkin yes san la cle and god is going to bless you are am de man ti ta no stand to your feet so yari tsanga na tsika Lift your hands. Asadatum tananawa. Give thanks to God. Sora na de manta, sora na de manta. Give thanks to God. Isora de manta. God is giving you a good spirit. Na me anawa fana tsari. God is giving you a faithful spirit. A de manta me ano fana matukia. God is building your church. A de manta na ngana fi Your ministry. Ni asa fan punao. With a faithful spirit. Me ara kan fana fi fa. Every form of secret disloyalty. A ro et kare et na fi fa ti na me afuna. Secret and faithfulness. A fa fa ki na me afuna. That spirit. San fana zane. It breaking. Put zane. Today. Put zane and one. In the name of Jesus. Asena ara Jesus. Father we give you thanks. Rayom sota no saya. Father we give you thanks. Rayom sota no saya. I want everybody to pray in the realm of the spirit. Tikunde da ready fa ka ne tutulora panami cha fa fa sana. Pray in the realm of the spirit. Fa 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 fa. Pray in the realm of the spirit. Fa fa tutulora panami. God is establishing you. Map to eta no man de man. God is delivering us. Manafa ka tsika de man. From an evil spirit. Manafa ka tsika de man. Malama shandola makabaranda la ba. Malai baramando la masandola bakabaranda la da. We give you thanks. Sotanosa. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Sotanosa. Every praise. Everyone praying. Fafa kanzaraya, fafansaraya. Everyone praying. Fafansaraya. Ramanda la makaba. Parimba la mana shomba. Rema to sun dere maya galaba. Lift your hands and pray. Asadatu tanano, asadatu tanano rute fafama. Lift your hands and pray. Maya dere mo. I want listen. Yenuya. Yenuya. I want us I want us to pray in the in the realm of the spirit. Because we need this message affects everybody in a different way. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. And pray in the realm of the spirit. Lift your hands and pray. Lift your hands and pray. Your ministry is changing. Pray. Your ministry must remain together. Strong. God is giving you a great ministry team. Filled with loyalty. Loyal pastors with you. Loyal members with you. 
Ramayandaba. Satan cannot destroy your ministry. Lift your hands and pray. Bind the spirit of disloyalty. Bind the spirit of disloyalty. Don't allow it in your ranks. Don't allow it in your ranks. Lift your hands and pray. Magato si mande katala baba. Ramazunde ni mazo takataba. Ramazanda mayande gato si mande kalababa. Father, we thank you for this amazing conference. Our ministries will not be the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus. What a powerful conference. Keep clapping your hands. Awesome teachings. Yes. From, from today, you are anointed to be a builder of churches. And disloyalty will not be found in your church. The prayer you have prayed has driven out all the snakes in your church. And God will keep you and your ministry healthy and strong for a very long time all your life. A day will come your members will say they've been with you for 40 years. Fifty years. Thirty years. The youngest will be 15 years. And God will keep your church. And more more new converts will come into your church. Clap your hands and let's, let's appreciate evangelists that you are best. Those online, let's appreciate evangelists that you are best. What a blessing. What a blessing. You may please be seated. Remember that tomorrow morning we are also here for the second day of this amazing conference. But before we leave, we are going to give an offering. We are not ordinary church members. We are leaders and pastors. So you will be the best to understand the language of giving. That is why I don't need to talk too much. Give your best. And also remember that these offerings are seeds you are sowing into the ministry of this great servant of God. And throughout this campaign